What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Today we're going to talk about another new feature in Logic Pro 10.1 and that is its plugin organizer. Now finally, after many years, we always wanted to kind of organize our audio units the way we wanted to. And well now, we can with the 10.1 update. To do that, go to Logic Pro 10, go to Preferences, and then go to Plugins Manager. This window will pop up here. I'll show you all of your plugins. Or you can go to the individual ones like down here and bring it in. So first off the bat, all you really have to do is, let's say you have a reverb plugin. Here it is right here. You can take that and drag it into the reverb section. And now if you click on a reverb, it's gonna be under your reverb. So let's hit done. And now we're gonna go to effects because I was in effects we're going to go to reverb and there it is right there that native instruments plugin under the standard reverb section where usually logic's plugins live now another cool thing you can do in the plugins manager is to create your own categories so let's say we can we're going to say crazy since i love so i'm going to hit this plus sign over here to create a new category I'm going to call it crazy since I love. You can call it anything you like, and then you can go through all of your plugins that uh, you love. So let's go Leonard Digital. I'm going to bring that into crazy since that I love. And then I'm going to bring in, let's see, Sonic Academy. I love my Anna. And ooh, where am I here? All right, so I can go ahead there and keep adding to that. I'm gonna hit done for now. And now when we go to our software instrument track, bring in an instrument and go to crazy synths that I love, you're gonna see it all the way down right here. And then there's my two synths. So I can bring those in very quickly rather than me having to go to AU instruments, finding Leonard Digital and going to silent then stereo. All I have to do is go down to crazy synths that I love and choose the one I want or that I love and I'm good to go. Now, if you make a mistake and you don't like what you did, let's say I don't love these synths anymore, you can just go ahead and remove it. Right click, control click, whatever you wanna do. Hit delete on the keyboard. Ooh, delete on the keyboard does not actually work. Backspace works as well <laughs> and it deletes it right for you. Sorry, the delete button on the left hand side of your keyboard, not the one if you have the full numeric key Apple keyboard. So hit delete, right click, control click, and you can go ahead and delete that. As well, you can go into the individual folders that are already made. And if I don't want this reverb plugin over there, don't like it anymore, I can control click and remove that as well. Now it's not gonna delete the audio unit, it's just gonna delete it from this section. So that is Logic's 10.1 plugin manager in a nutshell. As you can see, you can organize all of your audio units into one nice cohesive folders that will move along your productions a lot faster. I myself always didn't like, if you're anything like me, I have a bunch of plugins and I just don't like going to there and then going through all of my settings, especially on some of my audio effects. Now on this computer, I don't have all of my plugins. Let's see here. See, I have a bunch of more Wave plugins on my other computer, my main studio computer, but uh, it just becomes a long list and you want to organize it the way you like. Anyways, I'm rambling. That is Logix 10.1 plugin organizer. Go ahead, use it. It will help with your productions. Move along your productions faster and faster. For more good videos, remember to subscribe. Any questions, ask me in the comment section below. For future video ideas, tutorials, let me know in the comment section below as well. And as usual, guys, I will always talk to you soon. See you all in the next video. Later.